Heroes Reborn No. 5 was published a few days ago and presented the story of Kyle Richmond, aka Nighthawk, in a world without the Avengers, where the Squadron Supreme is Earth's mightiest heroes. The book opens with Nighthawk recalling how his parents never wanted a son, and how that was clearly stated to him as a child. They abandoned him to butlers and boarding schools before they got themselves killed. Kyle used to tell himself that all the work he did each night was for his parents and to make them proud of him, but those were the desperate lies of a lonely child in the dark. Meanwhile, Craven the Hunter wearing Nighthawk suit opens fire and kills police officers. Craven says that it is not enough to destroy his greatest enemy, but he must wear his skin, and proves that he is better at being Nighthawk than he is. Craven then dared Nighthawk to show himself, and that was when Nighthawk intervened and popped smoke. Nighthawk took down Craven and left him hanging upside down for the officers. Commissioner Luke Cage then reported that Craven is down, but the rest of the super psychopaths were still running loose in the Ravencroft Asylum. Nighthawk then entered the asylum to find that all the doctors and the nurses working in there were killed. He then found himself face to face with dozens of super inmates who broke free from their cells. Nighthawk took down the Lizard, Bullseye, and Sabertooth before engaging the Black Skull. The Venom symbiote told Nighthawk to stop fighting, as they were meant to be one. Nighthawk recalled how years earlier he bonded with the symbiote he brought back from Battle World. Before he broke up with Black Cat, she used to tell him that he needed therapy, but she did not understand that fighting crime was his therapy. Knowing that sound is one of Venom's weaknesses, Nighthawk hit Black Skull with loud noise and forced him to let him go. Nighthawk then confronted Deadpool, who was another psychopath imprisoned in the asylum. Deadpool broke the fourth wall, saying that he was not supposed to kill Nighthawk for story reasons before he was taken down. Nighthawk then ended up confronting Norman Osborn, aka the Goblin, who was holding Dr. Gwen Stacy as a captive. Gwen was Nighthawk's sidekick known as Nightbird. She told Nighthawk that the Goblin wants him to kill him, to prove that he can break him. The Goblin then dropped Gwyn to her death, reminding Nighthawk how years ago he killed his sidekick the Falcon. Osborne injected himself with the Green Goblin formula all these years, and went insane. Nighthawk took down Scarecrow and Rhino before rushing to save Gwen's life. He managed to catch her before she hit the ground, but found out that she was infected by the Goblin's gas. After her father was killed, Nighthawk trained Gwen to become Nightbird, or Night Gwen, as she liked to call herself. Nighthawk tried to take her down fast, but she proved skilled enough to block his Haka ranks and then to throw them at the goblin. She managed to hit him and took him down. He fell to the ground, saying that he always liked Gwyn. Nighthawk took down Scarecrow who tried to attack, saying that he won't let Goblin die, but Goblin forced the Hakarangs deeper into his head, telling Nighthawk to put him out of his misery. Nighthawk then reported to Cage that the asylum was clear, and told him to send the paramedics. The Goblin then told Nighthawk that he wanted him to hear his last request. He heard the craziest things when he was in the cell next to the Silver Witch, who was taken down by Blur, as we've seen before. Goblin wanted Nighthawk to know on the behalf of all the psychopaths in the asylum that they do not want the world to change back, as Goblin liked it this way, and that was the last thing he said before he died. Later on in his cave, Kyle saved the data that all the inmates from the Ravencroft were accounted for, except for one, as her escape happened hours before the riot, and she had assistance from the outside. Her name is Maya Lopez, aka the Phoenix Forced Echo, who was a former soldier for the Kingpin. The men who helped her to escape from the asylum were unidentified, except for one man who was carrying Captain America's shield.
So that was the story of Kyle Richmond, who takes the ancient potion that grants him enhanced abilities while the sun is down. Nighthawk was based upon Batman, like all the members of the Squadron Supreme were based upon members of the Justice League. Hope you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.